The scene is now in place, and Inkflow is animated to simulate the signature. To add the last touch, you will animate a pen to follow the Inkflow effect. Select the pen, go to frame 60 and align it to the first point helper. Align it in pivot to pivot mode in all three axes. Rotate it to a reasonable angle, that would be your starting point. Remember that frame 60 is when the first point helper begins to move. Typically, to have an object follow another, use the Select and Link tool to create a hierarchical link. However, in this case, you want the pen to follow three different helpers in succession. The Link tool doesn't allow for more than one parent at any given time. Instead, you will use a tool named Link Constraint. This tool lets you switch parents at any given frame. At the beginning of the animation, you want the pen to follow the first helper. This is why you aligned it there. Right-click the animation slider at frame 60 and create both position and rotation keys at that time. Next, to ensure the pen follows the first point helper, use Animation, Constraints, Link Constraint, and Point to select the first helper. Scrub the animation to see the effect. The pen now moves with the helper up to frame 120, where it stops as the helper stops. At frame 120, create new position and rotation keys as you did earlier. Go to frame 130 and enable Auto Key Mode. Align the pen to the second helper. This creates a position key at frame 130 and moves the pen from one helper to the next. If you want, go to frame 125 and move the pen slightly up in Z to create a small lift. Go to frame 130 again. At this moment in time, you want the pen to start following the second point helper. In the motion panel, Click the Add Link button and select the second point helper in the scene. Notice how point 001 is listed as a parent starting at frame 60 and how point 002 takes over at frame 130. Similarly, go to frame 220 and using Add Link select the third point helper. Be careful as both second and third helpers are now sharing the same space. If you accidentally selected point 002 again, simply highlight it in the list and delete it. Using Add Link, press H to select point 003 from a list. Ultimately, you can release the pen from any constraints towards the end of the animation, after frame 330. For that, Use the Link to World option. Disable Add Link Mode when done. At frame 330, use the right click on the slider bar to again create position rotation keys as you did earlier. Scrub the animation to see the results. For additional fun, stay in Auto Key Mode and animate the rotation of the pen. At the end of the animation, after frame 330, move the pen away from the letter.
At the beginning of the animation at frame 0, lift the pen, move it away and slightly rotate it from its starting position. Exit Auto Key Mode and play the animation to see the results. A provided animated camera gives you a good shot of the resulting animation. Press C to display the camera view. In the display panel, hide the shapes and helpers categories to clean up the viewport. Play back the animation. A completed file is provided for your convenience. In this tutorial, you learn to create self-writing text that can be useful for motion graphics using a variety of techniques. These included deforming cylinders to simulate ink flow and controlling the flow with the use of constrained helpers on a path. Finally, you learn to use link constraints to animate a pen to follow the ink flow. We hope you found the techniques useful. Let us know if you enjoyed this tutorial.